Hi guys, it's Ariadne here and welcome back to my channel. This is a vlog about somatic experiencing work. I just came out of a session with a somatic experiencing therapist. I started seeing her... I started seeing her a couple of months ago. Um, I didn't have a weekly session because of the holidays and there were a couple of weeks that I had to cancel, she had to cancel, but we've had several sessions and um, she's uh, a clinical psychologist as well as a somatic experiencing person. So a lot of talk therapy seeped its way through into our sessions, which I think is okay because, you know, we had to kind of establish a relationship and she needed to learn more about me but I definitely felt kind of an anxiety about it because I felt like well I'm really good at therapy <laughs> I'm really good at talk therapy and um, it's not hard for me to like analyze and organize all of the things you know all the trauma or memories or what I'm going through and why so I know that I'm really good at that and it's not complete in its healing power, you know, it's helpful, but it's not complete in its healing power. So that's why I came to try out somatic experiencing. I will put a link down in the description below and you guys can check it out if you've never heard of it. The best way I can describe it after having the experience that I had today is that it's kind of like giving, providing a platform to the body to talk. So instead of letting just your brain run its course and analyze and use logic then, and even like even tapping into your feelings maybe and emotions, you're just providing the platform for the body to express itself. And it's a little bit odd because A, at least for me, it exposed how much of a split there exists in my psyche and especially when it comes to the mind-body. It exposed a certain feeling of like being completely unfamiliar to myself. It's like, whoa, I was... Huh. I mean, it's like my body came into full picture and it's almost like I was meeting it for the first time and experiencing for the first time. It was just a very, very different space of relating to my body and relating my mind to my body. And I kept kind of going in and out of feeling like well, this is this is Ariadna, right? This is me, to going like, whoa, that's my body and that's Ariadna, and kind of like in and out between the split. Just having that glimpse of an experience today made me think everybody freaking needs to <laughs> experience something along these lines, you know? because and and it takes meditation to a whole new level for me you know i started meditating recently and um for me it's all about being with myself right just being and being with my body and being with my mind and just allowing things to unfold and somatic experiencing is kind of like learning the language of the body a little bit to al to allow it to talk and to allow, to learn how to listen to it, you know? So speak the language of the body so you can listen and understand it. You, I think it just, it feels like this whole new window is opened, honestly, because I can sit there and, and, and I thought that I was aware of my body, but if I am honest about it, it's all about the mind running its course. And I think that we do tend to generally focus on the mind when meditating because it becomes all about quieting the mind you know and or focusing the mind or whatever or shifting the mind because the mind feels like our best friend and our worst friend all at the same time but the body is kind of left on the back burner it seems like and for the first time it felt like I provided the body with the opportunity to tell me what's going on and what can be confusing about it is that it's not super straightforward. I mean, it's not your typical experience of the mind. So you really got to kind of give lots of time and um, room for the mental interpretation. So you can translate it into mind language 
And of course, the mind wants to ask a bunch of questions like, what is this? And why is this happening? And tries to like, at least my mind, again, tries to explain things immediately and find the why and like make it make sense. The glimpses that I had when I wasn't trying to make sense of it, but I was just like, okay, I am with my body and just describing what's going on in my body and tapping purely into that. For the first time, I felt a shift and I really felt a communication with it. And it's it's blowing my mind, honestly. It's blowing my mind because it's almost like to take it slightly to the world of, you know, the metaphysical understanding of things or the spiritual understanding of things, you know, for me at least, it's like the connection between higher self and the third dimension self or fourth dimension self, I guess, if you count time as being fourth dimension, is that much more apparent in that moment. It's like, oh, this is what it's like to be tapped into the human experience. That That's what it's supposed to feel like. <laughs> being able to have the open communication lines with your body is what that's all about. Like all of a sudden, I'm sort of feeling like a full human. Um, and again, I know that it was just a tiny bit of an opening in the window or in the door, you know, towards having that experience, but it's really interesting. I'd be really curious if any of you have tried somatic experiencing and what kind of results you've had with it. And um, yeah, just, I mean, feel free to share whatever you'd like to share, whether you've tried it or you're thinking of trying, and if so, why, you know? Um, please let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to hear your story about it for sure. <laughs> I'm just trying to think. I feel like there's more things I could say that could be helpful. Well, for one thing, this is like almost a little creepy to me again. Um, I have a tendency to have really cold limbs. Like my hands and my feet are always cold, always cold, like freezing. Um, and as we kept talking and, and talking about the body and like she asked me to you know notice my body and s scan my body and kind of like figure out what sensations I'm experiencing in the body as I started doing that and I kind of had a little bit of anxiety again to like finding the right answer like oh what if I won't feel anything I'm not feeling anything I'm just sitting here ah! all of a sudden as I kept scanning I felt that my hands starting to warm up I was just I was feeling as if I was feeling blood pouring into my hands or consciousness pouring into my hands or something. It's like my hands all of a sudden became a little bit more part of me and, and they became warmer. And then for a while I felt like my legs weren't part of me, like they, they weren't, first of all my feet were cold and I felt like I was sitting on the edge of a cliff, like my legs hanging off of the chair instead of being on the floor were like not my legs and kind of separate and cold and like somehow harder to relate to. And in the past, I've experienced a similar thing with like not having my head sort of like focusing on my torso and my belly and my heart area. And then again, as we kept going and I was, you know, allowing the body to speak up and, and, and give me a little bit more feedback sensorially, <laughs> Um, and by the way, like it pulls up images and memories and associations, which I think is really cool and interesting. But by the end of it, it's like I got my legs back too. And I got a little bit of that groundedness and I could feel my, my feet warming up. And I've never experienced something like that before. Like when I was able to warm up my own limbs with consciousness and like feel completely embodied in that way. So that feels pretty huge to me because part of what I think I've struggled with is well, the way I found to describe it is that my body is invisible and it's floating in space and I feel like all sorts of discomfort of just wanting to like contract and put on a weighted blanket and like feel some sort of a pressure or a boundary so I can like relax up against it which is I think what like helps cats not to stress or like helps animals not to stress is compression and I think humans in a way work the same way hence why like weighted blankets are a thing right if you don't know what a weighted blanket is I'm gonna put a link down below to that as well <laughs> so you can check it out um, 
but yeah so there you go just those those might seem like maybe weird or like unimportant but pretty profound it felt like a really profound experience to me so um this is my first vlog on somatic experiencing let me know if you want more videos like this i probably will share them anyway if i feel like i have something to say <laughs> but if uh, if you guys like this type of video you know do give it a thumbs up or let me know in the comments i love hearing from you no matter what the video is about and um yeah i'll catch you later <laughs>